Hi everybody. I I tell you what, we're still under the influence of uh, Mercury in retrograde here. I'm still not seeing the comment, the comment box is not working properly. I'm going to just pull it up again and see whether we can get that um, to work for us. Let's just see. Oh, great. Yes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's working. Welcome. I I wasn't actually going to do a, um, it's just only like a 10, 15 minute um, sort of like little mini workshop today, but I, I was so, I had so overwhelmed with stuff that was going on and I then suddenly realized what's happened um, in that today we, we have moved over to Chiron in Aries. So what I wanted to do was to share with you guys what that actually means. Actually, could you just let me know in the comment box that you can hear me okay? Um, I don't want to start sharing information if you guys can't, uh, can't hear what I'm saying. So what, so what this means is it's, this is really, um, big because we have been in, oh, fine. Thanks, Nikki. Um, we have been under the influence of Chiron in Pisces since, thanks Kirsten, since 2010. So I'm going to explain a little bit. Yay, Alicia, that's great. I'm going to explain a little bit what actually that means um, so that you get an understanding that now we've moved over into Chiron and Aries, what that could potentially mean for us all. Now, obviously, some of you are actually Chiron in Aries as well, like myself. So I feel it's going to be even more heightened for us. Now, Chiron in Aries is 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 a it's a tough energy, right? Because it's it's quick moving, it's very strong, and it really pushes through stuff. So what that means is that's what it does for you. Okay, so it really pushes you a lot. Um, but I'm going to explain all about that. But first of all, let me just explain a little bit about Chiron and, um, you know, where we've been with Chiron so far. So we, we all have a Chiron, which a Chiron is basically the holy grail of healing in that our Chiron symbolizes our deepest and, and most core wounding. Okay, so we all have one. No one is no one is exempt from that. Um, and so even though it's our core wounding, the power and the gift is through that. So what I mean is that your 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 biggest breakthroughs and where you're gonna accelerate the most is through working with your Chiron. Okay, because it's your biggest wounding. So the gifts lie hidden within the wounding. So we all we all have a, a Chiron, but also the planet as a whole goes through Chirons as well. So since 2010, we've been in Chiron in Pisces. Now, Chiron in Pisces is, is quite a gentle, slow energy. It makes you go within. And this energy of Chiron in Pisces has been all about a reawakening of humanity to the spiritual side of things. So really pushing us to go more into the subconscious and to make that reconnection to spirit. So what we have found globally since that time is a huge awakening process. So this Chiron in Aries has pushed a whole, uh, sorry, a whole a Chiron in Pisces has, has pushed a whole awakening to a more spiritual sense of self. Okay. Now, you know, that you don't get that many shifts 
in Chiron. So this is a big deal that it's come into Aries today and it will stay predominantly in Aries now until 2027. So for a long time it's going to be in Aries. Now it does um, phase in and out of Pisces uh, from now up until uh, I think February next year. So we'll have a bit of We'll have a bit of Aries now. It'll go back into Pisces for a bit, then it'll go back into Aries. Then for a very long time, it will stay in Aries until we just start to come out of it again, you know, around 2026, 27. So it's really, really important to understand what that influence is and how we can support ourselves through that. Because like I said, Chiron and Aries is quite quite an aggressive energy it's, it's very powerful it's it's very strong energy and it's going to really push us and and challenge us and it moves very very quickly which is a good thing it's all a good thing because it's going to support us to shift quickly as long as we know how to work with it and obviously if you you are a Chiron in Aries yourself personally I think this is going to be very much heightened. So what does Chiron in Aries mean for us globally? So what we can expect to, to happen over this time is that Chiron in Aries is all about healing the ego and the sense of self. So who am I? It's a lot around empowerment, which makes me laugh because I did a whole um, Facebook Live yesterday on empowerment, not even realizing that we were going into Chiron in Aries today. I, I, you know, I'm just going with the flow basically of what came to me. So, you know, I was just obviously picking up on psychically the shift that we were coming into um, for today. So empowerment is huge. Um, especially spiritual empowerment, because that's the the, the most uh, the, the biggest type of empowerment, or the most powerful type of empowerment you could have, is spiritual um, empowerment. So we're going to be globally really looking at um, what does it mean to be spiritually empowered and supporting each one of us to go through that process. So there's gonna be a lot of work that's gonna go on the solar plexus um, area around that. And this energy is really gonna support us to heal and resolve things as quickly as possible. You're gonna feel very pushed at times and it's really gonna impact self-worth. Okay, this is really going to hit us on our confidence level, on our self-worth level, and just fundamentally questioning ourselves, who, who am I? Who am I? And understanding that at a much, much um, deeper level. So it's also going to give us the courage to keep on kind of dusting ourselves back down every time we fall over. And it's going to push us to come straight back up, bounce back and move on. Okay, so there's going to be that falling down and getting back up again, falling down, getting back up again. And I mean energetically here. So, you know, you're going to feel squashed and you're going to feel limitations. You're going to feel self-worth. And then it's, you're going to be pushed to clear that within yourself, clear those feelings, clear that a restriction that you've got within your etheric body um, to then come back up again. So there's going to be a lot of that and that's going to really push each of us to step more into our empowerment. Now, interestingly enough, um, I had scheduled to do a workshop on Chiron on the 16th of May. So what I'm going to do within that workshop, I'm going to work a lot with Chiron in Aries because everyone is going to be and you know, is starting to be impacted by that energy. So I feel the more you know how to navigate that, 
the, the more you're going to be able to take that opportunity and really run with it and really empower yourself. So on the workshop, I'm going to be obviously sharing all this information, but the most important thing I'm going to be doing on the workshop is, is running energy and working energetically with you. So we could be working with Archangel Michael. We're going to be working with Dragon Power. We're also going to be working with specific procedures all about how you hold your light. Um, so we're going to be doing that and facilitating all that in meditation. Um, also going to be doing decrees as well, because this is all around finding your own inner warrior. So this is very much, Chiron Aries is very much the warrior energy, but it's not the warrior energy outside of yourself. It's about the inner warrior. And the inner warrior is, is, is the person who can connect within what is going on and have the strength and the courage to connect in and to clear and let it go which is a lot about what I talk in the Urban Goddess program, um, which is that ability, which I call the CAD process, which is connect, accept, and detach. So there'll be a lot of that process to support that inner clearing so that you can weave more energy through you, pull more light into you, which enables you to birth more of your divine sense of self which then creates more spiritual empowerment as you anchor more of those gifts and talents uh, through you. Don't worry, Kim, you can always um, re-listen to it. I'm coming to the end in a moment. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's going to be the Chiron in uh, Air Chiron workshop that I'll be facilitating. So a lot of that is the energy that you'll receive to support you to continually clear those restrict those self-limiting restrictions around the emp empowerment process power plays power issues solar plexus issues and um spiritual gifts and just owning more of your sense of self so I'll, I will be giving you guys uh, details of this workshop later on um, so that if you want to join in, you can. But if you are a temple member, if you're a soul temple member or an inner temple member, you will get this workshop for free. So I just wanted to let you know that at all. So if you are drawn to... Um, coming in and joining the temple this is all going to be supporting you on literally a day by day by day level to keep on clearing that restriction within you as well as running energy through you so that you can trigger that chiron point because we actually have a chiron point in our energetic field and when you work with that specific point you start to release the restrictions it's like a chakra it's literally a chakra and as you release the restrictions you're able to connect at a deeper level to the global grid matrix which means you can connect more to spirit and pull in the energies you need to birth that birth more of your your higher self basically Ah, oh, um, Lucille, the workshop is going to be £65 if you're not um, a temple member. And you, you've got the workshop, you have the meditations, you have the procedures, and then you could just keep that workshop. So you can attend it live, you'll be called in as well. But don't worry if you can't attend it live because you'll be given um, a recording which you can then access whenever you want or as much as you want. And especially for the Chiron in Aries, you're going to, because we're in this globally now till 2027, we're going, you're going to be continually wanting to re review and work with this Chiron point energetically. Because what will happen is that you, you're going to forget what, you know, life just kind of just takes over. You get triggered and, and, and you, you, you so easily you lose consciousness. So by having a meditation, by having the procedures, by re-listening to the workshop, it's going to keep you 
back on track. You're going to be able to weave that new energy back in again to help you make the clearings and to ground this new sense of self and new sense of empowerment uh, through you. Okay then, my lovelies, I need to go and pick up my little boy from Beavers. <laughs> um, like I said, it was just an impromptu uh, little mini training just because we've come in and I felt this energy so much today and it really can floor you, um, especially if you're Chiron and Aries um, because it just heightens it even more. So I just want to give you as many tools as possible and awareness of what you can do to support yourself when when you start to feel that uh, being triggered within you. Okay, take care everybody, bye.